Hi everybody, welcome to Paper Wishes Vlog. I'm Lene Gehrig, and today I've got this great Halloween collection with all kinds of different elements in it. Let me go through these. This is the, from Clear Scraps, this is the Shaker Maple Leaf. These make great shaker cards. We're gonna show you how to do that. Um, we've also got the Shaker Candy Corn and the Shaker Spider. And then from Stampendous, we've got the Kling, this is a Kling rubber stamp, so it's a little thicker. Um, and um, this one is called the Uncaged Raven, kind of spooky. And then this one is called Corny Candy, also from Stampendous. And <clears throat> it gives you the little candy corn and a little pumpkin and then lots of different faces to put on these. It's really fun to play with. And then from Hot Off the Press, we've got Dotted Duo's Paper Pack number three. And this is great with wonderful fall muted tones. And then we've also got from Hot Off the Press, the Boo Paper Pack. So let's get right to it and show you some cards. This first one, my friend Debbie made, and she used the Corny Candy, which is really whimsical and fun. She also used the Dotted Duos. The great thing about Dotted Duos is um, it's got the tiny little dot, and then on the back, it's got a larger dot. So um, same color, you just reverse it, and you have two different options. Um, and with these, <clears throat> excuse me, she stamped them with alcohol-proof ink, okay, available at paperwishes.com. And then she colored them with Spectrum Noir pens. So just to give them these really fun faces, she mixed the faces up. You can see right here, they're all located here. Um, also the pumpkin comes with crazy little faces. Just fun to mix and match these. So you can make all different kinds of cards. She also added, these are uh, copper jewel border dazzles. And as you can see, just they lift right off in these little strips. And they're great little accents to add to your cards, and she put them along the top and the bottom. Here is a card I made last night, and um, this one uses the Uncaged Raven, very spooky. And this one also, this one also uses the Dotted Duos Number Three Paper Pack, and I used that sort of burnt orange color and the black polka dots. And um, for my stamping, I went ahead and stamped this on white cardstock in black ink, and then I just used my blender brushes, one of my favorite tools, and um, just went around that with the black ink. It looks just gray. And I just did some blending around that. Um, once again, the paper is torn. I even folded and creased some of those edges. And then um, I also should mention right here, there's a piece of paper here from, uh, wooden texture paper pack from Hot Off the Press, and it's a diamond plate metal. So I just wanted to bring in, to go with the polka dot, something that was sort of unexpected, and bring out the metal like from the cage. I don't know, it just felt appropriate to me. And it was the right color. Um, so then I also added elements from the Boo chipboard. So I added the tree right here, and I just punched this out and then just used a black ink pad on the surface for the little um, spiders as well. And then, let's see, here we go, oh yeah. I also used from this sticker sheet, this is a Happy Halloween sticker sheet, I used the cobwebs and also the greeting for Happy Halloween right here. And lots of fun stuff on this. I also used for this little bow, the orange um, jute twine paper pack. I used the orange color. I just made a loopy bow, and then once I inked those little spiders from chipboard, I just glued those there. And um, yeah, I was really pleased how it turned out. Um, it's very spooky looking. This card right here is a really fun card that Debbie made, also using the Boo paper pack. So there's a lot of different things going on here to show you. Um, so first of all, she used this template. It's a pop-out cards template. So Debbie made her card base using this. Let me show you. You just trace this, okay? So your black card stock will go underneath. You just use a pencil to trace all the areas. All the instructions are printed right here on the template. Um, you just use an X-Acto knife, um, cutting knife, to cut out the center strip here. And then you've got this great label shape at the top. Trace that and cut that out. And then you can just stick that right in here. And then it just pops right out like that. A really fun card. So what 
she did was she covered the top flaps with paper from the Boo paper pack. And then she used ooh, the chipboard. She used that great tree. And she used the Wow embossing pad. And let's see what color. This is a mixed media bronze age embossing powder. Just sprinkled that right on there. It's got this great brown and bronze textured look to it. She just used a black ink pad on the back. Same that I did on the spider, used black ink. And this great little polka dot bow <clears throat> is from our black ribbon set. And then we open that up. She's got the spider web here and the happy Halloween, also from the chipboard. And for the spider web, she just put some of this um, silver stickles glitter glue on that. Really, really sparkly. And then for her shaker spider, that's how that is. Um, for this one, she used the Iron Age Mixed Media, and it's got great colors in there. Same thing, just went ahead and took the exterior piece on this, and I'll take one of these um, shakers apart so you can see how they work. But she took that first layer and then just used her embossing pad on that to cover it with that embossing liquid, sprinkled on the embossing powder and then heated that with a heat gun and then it just melts into this great cool spooky texture. And then inside of her shaker, these are Halloween party doodads embellishments. And they are wonderful to put inside of your shaker card. And then as another little surprise, when this pops out, it also wobbles. So it's got this great little wobbler. And so these are the Action Wobbles Action Springs. Let me show you how these work. You can use them on really, well, so many different kinds of embellishments. But they're a little spring embellishment, just like this. And they have adhesive on this side and on this side. And so you just sandwich them between your card and whatever embellishment you're putting on them. And then it makes them kind of spring and jiggle like that. Really fun and really cute. So. Um, I just love this card. It's got a lot of fun elements going on. All right, Ooh, here we go. So we also have, this is the candy cord shaker, which I think is so much fun. And what would be great about this one is it'd be really easy to color with a white, yellow, and orange ink pad. Or you could also use paints. And a fun thing to do with that, you just take that top layer and then you could use post-its to mask off the area and then paint one area, remove the post-it, put it on the next one, so paint that. And I think you would get that really great break on it. So here's the maple leaf one. So I'll be showing you how to assemble these using this. I'm gonna make a magnet today. You can buy um, at Paper Wishes these little individual magnets are very, very strong. All right, so you can see this has different layers like this. And this is the little window layer and I've pre-started this little piece here because it's kind of boring to watch me peel this off and sometimes it takes a while. So you peel off from the front and the back. So now it was cloudy, now it's very, very clear. You want to put that someplace very clean. And then what I've done is I've taken one of these leaves and I've traced my photo like this, okay? And um, I just used it as a pattern and traced my little photo. So what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna glue the photo to the back of the leaf right here. And I'm, to do that, I'm just going to use my Cosmic Shimmer glue. All right. Just like this. I'm gonna make sure all the pieces in there. There we go. All right. And then, because we want some thickness to our shaker card, they give you two layers to put on here. If you're not making it into a shaker card, you're just making it into a frame, you could just stop with one layer. But because we're going to put little shaker elements in our leaf, and you want to make sure that you get lots of glue on here because you're really sort of sealing those edges up. You don't want any of that shaker material coming out. No leaks. OK. 
okay just like that and then remember our little window like that before we glue that together, I'm going to do a coloring technique on this using, I think I'm just going to use a brown ink pad. This one is roasted coffee. And I'm just going to dab that right on. You could also cover this with either one of the embossing powders. go. But we're going to just keep that quick and easy today and just use this one. All right, and so now, before we glue our window on, we're going to put some doodads in there. Open that up. Just take a pinch. Go. Oh, my doodads are going everywhere. Okay, and now we're going to put on the window, so I'm just going to put some glue here. All right. Now, put some glue on the back of this one. still a little bit wet on the front. I like to let my ink dry longer, but we're just going to move on. Okay, just like this, and we're going to square everything up. Okay. Take those around. And because I'm going to make this into a little fridge magnet, I'm going to grab a couple of these magnets. They're very strong. But you don't want to get your magnets on here and then realize, oh, I didn't put enough on because your leaf keeps falling off of the refrigerator. So I'm going to use two. Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay, well, let your glue dry a little longer. All right. So, as you can see, Fun and simple to put together. Um, all of these would make great and fun magnets to put together. So you guys, we've got a great money saver on this whole collection, paper and fun things and stamps. So I would encourage you to take a look at our money saver. If you're watching us on our vlog page, it is, uh, the money saver is located on the right hand side. If you're watching us on YouTube, then don't forget to check out the uh, description box below our video and there will be links to the money saver as well as links to paperwishes.com where we have more videos, more tutorials and lots of fun things to play with. Thanks for joining me today and happy Halloween.